We're kicking cancer to the curb, fighting back and making a difference. And guess what, St. Louis? You can actually help by getting involved with the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Joining me this afternoon are Elizabeth Brown, Senior Executive Director of the American Cancer Society of St. Louis, alongside of Amy Cammie, a Portrait of Hope survivor. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having Absolutely. us again. You look so beautiful in your pink, both of you. And let's talk a little bit about the walk. I mean, this is happening. October 19th, and this is a huge fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. Huge fundraiser. We have over 4 million survivors in the United States since we've um, started research, um, raising money for research for breast cancer. And so we literally could not do it without the help of events like Making Strides Against Breast Cancer and our good friend Amy, who tell their story about how important it is for early detection and prevention. I mean, that is so big. And we know that breast cancer is the second most common cancer in women in the United States behind skin cancer. So it really is important not only having these conversations with survivors like yourself, but to encourage people, hey, go out, get a mammogram, come join us on the walks. This is really imperative. Now, Amy, you are a survivor yourself. You're a survivor, but you're a thriver. Tell me more about your story with breast cancer. So I was diagnosed in 2010 in December, and I had stage two breast cancer. I actually had a lumpectomy, 11 lymph nodes removed, six rounds of chemotherapy, uh, 33 radiation treatments, and then two years later, I was diagnosed again in the same breast. Oh my so goodness. I had a right mastectomy, full hysterectomy, and I was on tamoxifen for about seven and a half years. Wow, we are surviving and you are thriving now, and that's yes. what it's all about. I mean, stories yes. like that just make you think, oh my gosh, you are not alone. So many women are going through this, men as well, but look at you, you're smiling, <laughs> you're here with us. I mean, how is the American Cancer Society such a huge role and component in your healing journey? Well, for me, just the early detection mm -hmm. was critical at both times. Um, I'm also adopted, and so I went through genetic testing, wow. and so their role in genetic testing gave me peace of mind. Um, and then I was also on tamoxifen. So that was, like, would not have had that part of my journey without the help of the American Cancer Society. Oh my gosh, well just the American Cancer Society is giving back in so many different ways for those that are living with breast cancer, going through those treatments, and it really is the help of you guys who continue to donate, raise money, and support at events like the Making Strides Walk to really continue to pour into all of our survivors and thrivers. Now you will be at the walk this year, of course. Of course. What is the name of your team, Amy? The Healing Harpist. Oh my goodness, and this is really <laughs> something that's important to you you because you actually play the harp. I do and actually before I was diagnosed we were developing research with my music for cancer patients. Wow. Yeah so I was able to listen to my own music. Full story. For my healing. It's a very. Yeah. That is so it's beautiful. Full circle. That is really a beautiful yeah. story. Well you have to come back and play the harp. <laughs> I will. This is your official <laughs> I will. invite on Studio STL. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> and St. Louis if you're at home and you're watching and you want to support other teams like the Healing Harps Harpist, excuse me, or if you want to create your own team for the walk, you absolutely can. Grab your friends, grab your family. It is happening October 19th at St. Louis's Union Station. Registration starts at 7.30 a.m. The walk is at 9 p.m. Go ahead, grab some money, have everybody on your team donate 25 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever you have, it all goes back to breast cancer support and research for continuing to pour love into so many that are fighting with breast cancer every single day. Right Right here in St. Louis. We'll make sure you have access to all of those details on our website at studiostl.tv.